Hi there. Now, here we've got a question based on the trapezium rule. And we have this curve then, which is given by this equation, y equals 10, all divided by 2x plus 5 root x, and table of values for x and y at and intervals of one unit. So the first question is then complete the table. So we've got to give y to five decimal places when x equals three. So it's just a question then obviously of putting x equals three into this equation. If you do that, the answer that you should get to five decimal places is 0 0.68211. Now in part B, we've got to then go on to use the trapezium rule with our values of y that we've got from this table to find an estimate for this area R. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with the trapezium rule where that area, let's just put it down here, that area is always approximately equal to half the width of a strip and what we're doing is we're putting strips in here remember so we've got a strip there at 2 it's not drawn to scale okay there's another strip there when x equals 3 so what we're doing is working out the areas then of these trapeziums and by the trapezium rule do check it out in my video tutorials if you're unsure of this but by the trapezium rule what it is is the width of the strips and you can see the width of the strip is clearly one unit so we take the width of the strip one we divide it by two so it's half the width of a strip and then we multiply all of this by the height of the first strip which is this first y value which is 1.42857 and then we do plus two times the sum of the heights of the middle strip so there's only going to be two in this example so that will be this y value and this y value so it'd be two times the sum of the middle height so it's two times 0 0.90326 plus the other one here 0 0.68211 and then it's always plus the last height which will be the y value when x equals 4 okay this one here so that's 0 0.55556 okay and if you work that out you should find that this comes then to an approximate area of 2.577435 and we've got to give this answer to four decimal places so that's going to be 2.57742 dp and for the last question here it says by reference to the curve then in the diagram give a reason whether your estimate for this area in part b is an overestimate or an underestimate well clearly it's got to be an overestimate because you can see I've already drawn the trapeziums in and we've got this little section above the curve here. So in answer to part C then, let's just put it up here for part C, it's got to be an overestimate. Okay, overestimate and why? Because the trapeziums Okay, we'll just put here the trapeziums are greater than basically the area of R. I think that should be sufficient. So if you're unsure anyway, as I say, about the trapezium rule, this formula here, do check out the video tutorials on my website. Okay?